Oh, that's a I lot think of it's collapse. only fitting that Kaya does. Yeah, I think it's only fitting Kaya does the intro for this one. Oh, that is okay. Well, everyone, welcome back to episode 157. After Notch and John McAfee, we finally got them. Doug and Anthony from the Who's Right podcast. Hello. What's up? How are, hey, everybody. Um, so we've got to keep this quick. I'm I've only got about a half hour, and then I got to go walk my dog. <laughs> Fuck He's you. He's done his homework. <laughs> That's a reference hey, Kyle, to the legend. Who are these two guys? Ah, nobodies. We're just nobodies. Oh, t- uh, see, you could have pretended that you are actually a big deal. How much homework did you do, yeah. Doug? Doug? I am. That's what big deals do. They pretend like they're nothing. I, you know. No, they pretend like everyone else is nothing. See, Doug was doing it right. He was talking about walking his dog. That's how big. De- well, now I inadvertently called <laughs> David Cross a big deal. Damn it! Yeah, you trapped me. Anyone would call bitch. David Cross a big deal. Yeah. Anyone. Fuck. All right, how much homework did you do, Doug? Oh, I watched that uh, last week's live stream. That, it that's about live. it. Live stream. <laughs> live You're stream. not even watching. Live stream. Not, not, not even watching our content. Not, yeah. Not the live stream, but the the uh, first episode you guys did with the webcams. Mm. Mm-hmm. A classic. How did you like it? <clears throat> you, you don't want the answer to that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Let, let's just keep this positive. I'm, I'm not going to come on your, your show and and uh, give my honest opinion. Well, let's let's make it clear. This is not the first time Doug or Anthony has been on. This is just the first time most of you have seen them on. There are star bench players in the bonus episodes. If we ever need like a janitor out of nowhere, Doug's always on call. <laughs> oh yeah, backhanded compliments. I fucking love them. <laughs> Really, there's not a compliment. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of positivity in that. I don't know. Every, every no, time it, I it come is. on the bonus episode, I, I see a bunch of comments about how it was the best bonus episode. I mean, that you, there's something that's to that. true. You're not but, wrong. It's because Doug has this uh, this willpower to just drop everything to come on a bonus. His fucking sewage exploded yesterday and still came on. Hell or high water, baby. <laughs> Hell or high shit. So what, what's <laughs> funny about that is I, I got done recording the bonus episode with you guys yesterday. And then a half hour later, I was trying to shimmy into a, a hole in my wall so I could crawl in my crawl space. It, I, I had this vision in my head that it looked like a fat baby trying to climb back into a vagina as I was trying to <laughs> shimmy through this hole. And then 15 minutes later af- after that, I was covered in human shit. And I'm sitting here thinking, I was just on one of the biggest podcasts in the world. <laughs> and now I'm covered in my own shit. <laughs> That's the circle of life, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. But yeah, man, you really are, uh, I don't know, an ace in the hole. We always, you know, whenever we're fucking up in the bonus episode and we're thinking, God damn it, you know what? Let's just get a guest or something or one of us is missing. I know I it's can message you and you're always good for it. That, that's really not even accurate either. Two times that Doug has been on the bonus is because Caius says something about overweightness, and he's like, well, let's have the expert weigh in on this. <laughs> so he calls Doug. <laughs> that's true. They're very critically I'll acclaimed, one, though. I'll, I'll be the one putting up a, a suicide video after this oh. last hour. Yeah, I got one this morning that wasn't... I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to say to it. I don't know if the the person just expects me to talk them off the ledge or something four hours after they sent the video and I was still asleep. There's just so they many... sent you an actual video? Yeah, somebody... Uh, I don't want to say who, but... So this person sends me a video. Yeah. A very depressed person. Someone who's been in the news before. And, you know, it's just a video called My Suicide Note or something like that. I'm killing myself. Something along those lines. Which I'm not sure how YouTube even allows that. Uh, talking about how he's gonna kill himself and but you know the first thing i think is okay i received this four hours ago is it too late to talk to him can i like leave a like on his video <laughs> to show him that there is meaning <laughs> <in life? laughs> well you can talk to him now is he probably gonna watch this episode is he is he a fan or is it just oh, someone no. on the internet yeah no he's not why is he sending you shit well like i said we we had been talking uh for a while not for a while but 
a couple of times. Um, he's a good person. It's not necessarily somebody I want to name. It's not, you know, maybe he's right now standing on yeah. top of that ledge, tuning in, maybe trying to see if there's literally anything to live for, and he sees us making fun of him. I don't want that. Yeah, I, I, I don't think there's anything there to make fun of, but no, I, I do know that if I was back in that place in my head, the last person I would think to reach out to to try to talk me off the ledge is Kaya. <laughs> Kaya. <laughs> you want to well, give up? Kaya some credit. Not many people on the main line episodes know this, but Kaya has literally saved Doug's life. <laughs> 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 he mentioned that crawl space two months ago. That crawl space would have been an unbeatable that, boss for Doug. <laughs> that tactic, that tactic though, that he's employing on Doug would not work nine out of ten times of just constant bullying and berating. Yeah. <laughs> It was a real all-or-nothing strategy. Doug was either going to die from being overweight or die from <laughs> Kaya's insults. <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to defend myself. I just I, I have to restart OBS. This was fucking no, up. No. Oh, God. Did we lose the recording? No, no, my audio is fine. It's just the video that I had to... Ah, okay. Pause, in a sense, so you'll just have two videos to stitch together. It should be... Um, fine, I hope. All right, so, no, okay. I don't want to go over this territory again. We've come to the conclusion, Doug, that my bullying has helped you. You've literally told me you owe me everything. I don't, I don't think that those are the words that came out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> in subtext, but I, I, we I went think over what this I said in the you, bonuses. I think mm -hmm. what I said to you was... Uh, Yes, it, it worked for me. I, I have thick enough skin that I can handle a, a little bit of jabbing. But you might want to be careful with some other people because you could probably send them over the edge. Yeah, like a gentle push over the edge kind of thing. No, it wouldn't oh, be a gentle, gentle push. push. It's a running fucking... Yeah. <laughs> Drop kick. Fly kick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kai sends himself off the edge with them. <laughs> no. Yeah, so yeah, you can handle the, it. The, the other good. three there, does does Kaya do anything like that with you guys? Do you guys, are you guys ever at the the end of his jabs? Uh, like occasional ones, but I don't think any of us have ever had like a downright intervention of like bullying to try and change something that you have. I think the yeah. only time Kaya ever like really fixed his targets was on pranking me, where he was going to like <laughs> do these very scary pranks where he was going to like... <laughs> hire my girlfriend to take pictures of me from outside my window and pretend I had a stalker. <laughs> Fuck, he needs a job, man. He, he needs a full-time job to keep his mind occupied. It's like, what was the other prank? You were gonna you were gonna use blood to paint on Charlie's door or something yeah. from a stalker? Oh yeah, yeah. I was gonna like I wanted at the time Andrew was living an hour or so away, I think, and I wanted to recruit Andrew to, you know, take photos of Charlie's apartments, nail like a carcass to his door, a scratch, <laughs> watch out on his door. Just normal stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so Just prank. friendly, uh, friendly pranks. Yeah, I gotcha. So, Doug, Anthony, you guys don't know this, but I did make Charlie believe that a uh, dog <laughs> groomer was out to kill him. <laughs> it, was <laughs> expert or something. it was super convincing. I had posted a video about like dumb fucking dog tournaments where he's like best in show. And they, they always grab like the dog's nutsack. So Kaya sent me this anonymous message about someone who was a huge fan of dog nutsack nudicles. <laughs> and it's like the, the writings of a raving lunatic. And I believe that it was a real stalker or an angry dog fan. I was like, I'm going to come and kill you and take, you and take you your to find dogs. out that it was Kaya. It took me like a week. So, no, Kaya, so a week you, of fear. Kaya, no, what, all what's I want to pay off on that? that? So the payoff, Doug, is that Charlie caved and apologized to that anonymous message like a bitch. Like, please don't kill me. <laughs> you apologized? <laughs> you, said, you said, please don't hey, kill me? It's, it's not going to be yeah. a hill I'm dying on. If you want to squeeze dog nut sacks and get mad about it, I'll apologize for making fun <laughs> what of you. What was there to apologize for? What was he angry about? Because I was making fun of squeezing dog balls. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, so, yes and no, but I... So during those dog shows, they really do. They just reach between the dog's legs for no reason and start manhandling the balls of the dogs. I don't know why, but I googled like why they do it. And I saw the word nudicles and I never had heard that <laughs> term before. So I googled it and apparently nudicles are what 
when you neuter a dog and take his balls, apparently they replace them with synthetic balls, like fake balls, like marbles, so the dog Why? can feel better yeah. about itself, so it doesn't feel like it's <laughs> missing its balls. <laughs> so I went, that is such obscure knowledge. Why the fuck would they even check for that? So I, I just sent Charlie the message like, those are fucking neuticals, you goddamn idiot. Just, you don't even know what you're talking about. I'm going to come so, and kill you and take your why, dogs. <laughs> why, do, why do the judges uh, grab the nut sacks? They're testing for nudicles? Just I have the, no idea. the overall health of the dog. I mean, That'd be my guess. you can tell all that by the size of their testicles. Well, they do. Like, they grow well, they, them, too. Like, I'm pretty sure yeah. they put a finger in their butt, too. And they want to so. they want to make sure that they're there. If the dog's neutered, it's, I guess, in their eyes, an incomplete dog. <laughs> just less of a dog. Yeah, yeah. I, I know. I know just a, a very little bit about it. And you just said something. You know, they stick their fingers in the dog's butt, and I think they do that to make sure the dog can maintain attention. You know, without being distracted. What? So, so that means they maintain an erection. <laughs> yes. So that means that they had to practice that. They. So you have to practice that with your dog before you take it to a dog show. You don't want the first time you stick your finger up its butt to be right there in front of everybody. So what, you, you're at home practicing by sticking your finger up your dog's arts, getting it ready for the big show. Giving it treats. If it Folding doesn't its balls. It's literally just a prostate massage. <laughs> just, it's yeah, wait, you, it's, oh, and, and you said you couldn't milk a dog. <laughs> That's a good point, though. These people would have to like train their dogs to have their balls just touched every day. <laughs> It's so it's yeah, such a fucked up Pavlo's experiment to ring the bell and then just fondle the balls and stick a finger up his butt while he's eating his food. Like, oh, are you distracted? Are you distracted? No, good doggy, keep eating. Yeah, don't mind the finger in your asshole. That is that's like maybe time level. Like a coach. Yeah, dude. I mean, which one of us would not be distracted if there was suddenly a finger in our assholes? So, <laughs> that's like Navy Seal discipline. Well, on you those wouldn't dogs. be a very good dog now, would you? That's why you never make it in the big time, Kaya. And I'm just sitting there wait, waiting patiently with a finger in my butt, waiting for my piece of pizza that they promised me if I didn't make a sound. <laughs> that sounds like something you'd do. The good old American dream, baby. So we, we had somebody on the show, on, on our show, and they were breeding dogs, and they had built a table to <laughs> strap one dog down so the other dog could, could fuck it. Oh, that, that doesn't yeah, sound the like other, a dog the other breeder. dog, right? Not them. Yeah, that, that definitely yeah. just sounds like some weird bestiality shit. You don't have a dog breeder, but that sounds like a who's right fan in a nutshell, really. <laughs> <laughs> now you're making fun of our fans? Come on, man. <laughs> it's playful, playfully. Playfully, playfully. Not in earnest, Anthony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many dog facts do you know, Doug? Uh, seven. I don't. What kind of fucking question is that? <laughs> Well, I, I thought you might have been like a an expository of just random dog knowledge. No, I pulled out two bangers. No, I'm, almost I'm not, immediately. I'm not really a, an expository of anything. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know what the fuck that word means. Is it Australian? It's a banger. It, it's a it's a dictionary <laughs> word. I think okay. like you, you're a dictionary full of terms. <laughs> okay, I, thanks. I guess <laughs> <laughs> maybe I'm the expository here. <laughs> Is this going the way you guys thought it was going to go, Doug and Anthony? Uh, so I figured that you guys, as professional as your show comes off, I figured you guys would have like a list of topics in front of you, uh, or at least some some direction to go. Jackson usually does. Do you this time, Jackson? No, uh, we we've never once had a list of topics, once, and it's not my fault. Don't put it on me. I tried once. So not once, but you tried once. <clears throat> Yeah, but then I lost the notes. <laughs> so we didn't really we, try. Jackson, there's a subsection of our fan base that literally just, there's a dark ages for them, a period that they consider to be awful because we would have topics, too many topics. In fact, Doug, Anthony. But we didn't have a list they of like topics, off the we? cuff. We had Kai, a list of... Yeah, we would jump from like yeah, news Kai articles. Used to have lists. Okay, how about this? How about this? Now we have, now that we have like two generations sitting here and a third generation listening to this, what do you guys think of the Cybertruck? I fucking love the Cybertruck. That shit is super goofy. That's the exact kind of shit I like. 
I do too. I think that people say, oh, it looks like a PS1 car. And I say, that, that's a bad thing. I think that's a cool thing. I like that. Yeah, I'm tired of cars that all look the I same. I unironically like it. I don't, I, I don't know what the, I what got, the I'll be honest. About. You know what? I kind of got confused. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony still Jesus. got his fucking horse and buggy. What the fuck is a truck? <laughs> so one, one of the things that, that pisses me off about it is, so you've got Elon Musk trying to come up with all these different inventions or, or, or moving shit forward. And then, you know, they do that test with the, the window. And, and I think they proved why it broke during the test. But all these yeah. people latching on that, that, you know, he's failed and, and it's a piece of shit and all that. I mean, he, he made an invincible fucking truck, right? Uh, other, other than a steel ball <laughs> through the window. <laughs> yeah, which isn't exactly going to be an everyday yeah. occurrence. You're not going to have like some type of fucking pitcher throwing a steel ball at your car as you're driving down the intersection or anything. And but why do you even need dude, an indestructible the... truck then? Uh... Safety. I honestly don't get all the mockery. So this for ages now, for years and years, we've all just been repeating the same thing. Like, oh, the future doesn't look as cool as we all imagined. Where's all the flying cars and the cool futuristic cars? Why doesn't our reality look like Blade Runner or something like those, you know, cyberpunk shit? And this guy, he comes along, he designs a truck that literally just looks like it's straight out of Blade Runner, right? Slap, a, slap some dirt on it and dust and you wouldn't raise an eyebrow if you saw that truck in Blade Runner. It's it's like he hired the, that movie crew to design it. And you don't like it. You just make, keep making fun of it. Oh, it's too angular. Well, uh, then why? Okay, stick to what you like then. Stick to the old boring car design. So have people really been complaining about it? I've been oh, seeing yeah. mostly unanimous... Yeah. Are like, you oh, kidding? All of, all of the big yeah. social medias like Reddit and Twitter and shit cannot shut up about how like goofy it looks. I mean, it does look goofy, oh, yeah, though. Yeah, it does look goofy. No, but cool, I mean, in a bad, in a bad memes, way. Like, right? they're, they're not celebrating its goofiness. They're saying, God, it looks like shit. Like, what the fuck is this thing? You know what I'm saying? Sharing the same uh, gif from The Simpsons of Homer sitting in some goofy-looking car. It's just, just, this is so fucking stupid. We've all been asking for a slick-looking car, for someone to, even if it's not cool, cool, at least it's different. At least someone is finally trying something new and different. Yeah, I completely agree. I like how you uh, asked this question at Doug and Anthony and neither one of them even know what the fucking truck is. <laughs> no, I, I, so I, I think I know quite a bit about it. I know why the test failed on the windows. I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, why? Why? I don't know why. Tell I don't know either. So, so what had happened was they did the test behind the scenes where they threw the ball at the window and then they hit it with a sledgehammer and then they did it out of order during the event. So when they hit it with the sledgehammer, yeah. the window kind of shifted down a little bit from the vibration, which then, right. it, then it lost its bracing all the way around it. Mm. So then yeah. when you, when yeah, you threw the ball at it, the uh, one, one side of the window, the top side was unsupported. Well, I have no idea. So, so it's good for like the, the truck is good for one sledgehammer beating. And then after that, it's just useless. Oh I mean, no, that's... if you're going to be attacked, you have to make sure they hit you with a steel ball first, then the sledgehammer, <laughs> and there'll be no effect. <laughs> I always also think the people who argue against that are fucking morons. They're like, oh, look, indestructible truck, haha, ha, it's, sh it's fucking cracked. It's like, if you were in a regular car, that shit would have shattered. Yeah, like, it would have taken your fucking fuck? head off. Yeah, you would have <laughs> been dead. The only thing I, I don't like about the mm. Cybertruck is... Uh, it, the crumple zones, you know, that, that the crumple zones are meant for your safety. Um, just so now you have a, a car with no crumple zone. It's, it's just going to maintain. That means all the force of the impact will be on the person inside of it being thrown forward into the steel dashboard. I didn't know that. They really, I thought it was mandatory that all cars had to have a crumple zone. This one doesn't. No, it's that it's it's uh, it, it doesn't. No. Wow. Is it because of, what, the angular shapes of it? There's nothing to well, crumple? yeah, also it's indestructible. Any car that hits it in an accident, it's just going to obliterate them. It'll I guess that's another good point. <laughs> yeah. You don't need a crumple zone if it never loses integrity. Yeah. <laughs> this thing's going to plow thing through a fucking semi like driving a his uh, Fast and the Furious movie. Go ahead, Kyle. Put that in the ad, Elon, is you don't die if you're in our truck. On this side of the wheel. So I, I, I think <laughs> you guys have already answered it with, uh, with the way you've been answer, asking that question or answering that question. But do you look at Elon Musk as like a, a villain or a hero? 
Well, interestingly enough, Neither. Kaya used to think he was a villain. I remember the time when Kaya hated nah, I Elon think... with a passion. No, I don't hate him or think he's a villain. I just, I hate the fucking fan club around him, man. Just these Redditors who th uh, think he is Jesus, like literal rocket Jesus, come here, the first man ever to send us into the space age. No one else, yada yada, they, they suck his dick so hard. And then he started falling from grace slowly, I think, for a while. They do this with fucking everything. You no, can't I think he criticize, fell from grace pretty quickly when he calls the a pedophile <laughs> for saving kids from a Thai cave. I'm pretty sure that's when he fell oh, from yeah, grace. Oh yeah, he did that, didn't he? <laughs> why, yeah. why else would you save yeah, kids? Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's gotta be a reward. <laughs> yeah, that was a dick move. That's my contribution to the show. <laughs> So, it, it, okay, if I'm understanding everything correctly, um, so Elon Musk is trying to push forward space exploration to help with overpopulation. Is that correct? He wants to populate Mars. I mean, that's I guess. I don't know. I think if he's doing it. That's the reason. He's probably just doing it because it's cool. Yeah, I think he just likes Mars. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. so so in my mind, uh, you know, he he's willing to risk a bunch of shit for the overall good of everybody else and the same could be same uh said for thanos right that, that was a whole that's pretty nerdy but yeah i guess are you trying to <laughs> relate to us <laughs> what's going on here i was like my yeah, dad are you trying to relate to our audience <laughs> so so i is this because of multiple bonus episodes of us making fun of you for not knowing who thanos I, is no what what i think is funny is that you guys are the ones that are actually out of touch you just think that some, <laughs> somebody's got a couple years on you that that they're the ones out of touch and you think that Were you, you think that you, own, you, think that you own this Thanos all night last night after we recorded you trying to figure out what Thanos was yeah that's what I did I, I actually didn't actually go into my crawl space and get covered in shit I did some investigation <laughs> into what Thanos meant <laughs> no okay he does know who Thanos is but why do you okay let's have this debate why do you think uh first of all Anthony do you agree uh, yeah, I don't know. That, uh, <clears throat> like, uh, I guess I never put two and two together like that. I, I never thought of as of um, Elon Musk as a good guy or a bad guy. He's just some rich dude that has money, has enough money to go to space. I mean, if I had enough money to go to space, I, I would want to also. Does that make you bad or good? No, but calling a, a rescue person a pedophile... Does because that make you bad or good? If I think somebody's kids. a pedophile and I call them a pedophile, that doesn't make me bad or good. I just think they're a pedophile. <laughs> no, but it well, makes you bad if you just called someone a pedophile because yeah. you don't like them because they talk there, shit about there's your car. A very distinct, yeah, there's bad. a very strong distinction between that guy is a pedophile and I think that guy's a pedophile. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. No, no, because anything I say is something that I think. You don't have to start any sentence with I think. If you're saying it, that's what you think. Oh, what a boomer on the internet. You have to start things with I think or people won't realize it's your opinion. <laughs> I, <laughs> That's the sad part. Okay, so so, so boomer, does that just mean hit. that you don't live your life through the internet? Is that what that is that what it means to be a boomer, I guess? You're getting uh, way too existential, no, so, yeah. Jesus. Yeah, no, boomers can no, no, use no, no, the no. internet. No, no, I use the internet, but I don't like filter my life through it. It seems like if you don't filter your life through the internet, then it's real easy for people to call you a boomer because you you said something about a super truck or a indestructible <laughs> truck. Or I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Well, I mean, that's yes. not just internet, though. That's like actual real life shit, too, though. Like the cyber truck is kind of a big deal even outside of the internet because it's like a totally brand new spin on like a American classic. So I figured even if you're not tuned into the internet, you'd still have heard about the cyber truck. Yeah, so the the interesting well, okay, thing about me, this is, is let's do the litmus test. Hang on, Doug and Anthony, do you guys even know what Tipsy Elves? Is? No. Ooh, that's a good one. Ooh. Oh my fucking god. Jesus Christ! Ed, all right, just sit there and we'll tell Andrew, you. Andrew, hit him. Okay, look, Doug, Anthony, it's officially the holidays, and no party is complete without getting your ultra festive holiday clothing from Tipsy Elves. Tipsy Elves is the one-stop shop for all your holiday clothing needs. 
selling one-of-a-kind Christmas sweaters, dresses, family pajamas, and onesies that will transform your holiday party into an unforgettable experience. You will be the life of every party. They do this intentionally to make wacky and bizarre and crazy stuff. If you're looking for, like, ugly sweaters or goofy suits, Tipsy Elves is where you want to go. And I know this for a fact because I myself have purchased an American flag suit that I have uh, fucking roundaboutly been wearing the last three days. And it is it is amazing. Charlie, I believe you also got something very nice from them. You got a them. Santa Claus one, and it's super fucking comfortable. Yeah. They're, Doug, they carry plus sizes now. That's yeah, also I'm, true. I'm, I'm going the, on their website right here. now. I'm seeing if there's anything in here that uh, piques my interest. Yeah. So, if you... <laughs> it's it's fine. <laughs> if you at all have an interest, well, Doug, go ahead. Okay. I'm glad you're on there because when you go to tipsyelves.com/official, you can get 20% off your entire order, Doug. So if you want to get your whole family a set of Tipsy Elves, is there a code you know, or sweaters, something I can use? All in plus size, or maybe one in plus size? Is hmm? there a code or something I could use? Oh, they have everything. Just go on tipsyelves.com <laughs> slash official. <laughs> no, Doug, you just go to tipsyelves.com slash official. Got it. They'll That's right. There. All right. In fact, here, you, you two are boomers, so you'll love this joke. You can say snow thank you to a boring year. <laughs> Try one of the hilariously awesome designs from Tipsy Elves. Go to tipsyelves.com slash official for 20% off your entire order. That's tipsyelves.com slash official for 20% off the entire order. And I really can't stress how, like, I, I actually love this gimmick clothing. That, that American flag suit is one of the best things I've gotten in a long time. So they do Christmas, but check out their whole catalog because they have a lot of great stuff. Tipsyelves.com slash official. Mm -hmm. Tell us when you finish your order, Doug. We'll continue yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all order. done. <laughs> 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 Where were we, boomers? Something so we can't something see about boomers. Yeah, I think so, you had said something yeah. about boomers getting on the internet and and hawking clothing or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I wanted to ask about. So, why do you think we are the ones out of touch? Oh, so you guys got this fucking gimmick going on. Anytime that you talk to somebody that's five years older than you, and you say, "Do you do you know anything about Pokemon?" No. Oh, you're a fucking boomer. You don't. Is, no, I just I just don't to, fucking know. To be fair to us, that's not like our gimmick. That's not just something we're doing to you. That is what the Internet is doing right now as a whole, as a collective. Yeah. yeah. I, so that doesn't that doesn't one that doesn't mean it's right. It doesn't mean it's funny. And it it doesn't mean anything. I don't give a fuck what the well, Internet is. Your victim complex. Yeah, really? Jesus. OK, boomer. Jesus. And I don't use that lightly. <laughs> isn't isn't now the time where you tell everybody that you were hanging out with charlie in the last couple of days what <laughs> <laughs> i don't get it yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> that was a little jab oh i, get, I see oh. i see <laughs> Um, but if it, so, if it do you get that in real life if it makes you feel better i like i get called boomer by this same group. I'm sure all of us in this call do. It's, it's the right, so, so it, so it doesn't oh, yeah. mean yeah. anything anymore. No, That's what not I'm at saying. All. It's, it's a checklist phrase. It's what fucking people say just to show everyone, hey, I use the internet too. Hey, I know this phrase and when to say it. That's it. That's literally no, it all isn't. it does. It's not even that. It's... It's joined the list of insults you use when you have no argument or anything yeah. else to say. It went the way of neckbeard and incel. It's literally, when you go to a tweet, it used to be, okay, neckbeard, okay, incel, okay, this, and now it's okay, boomer. That's all Isn't it really Isn't it just a meme? Isn't this all just a meme? I think you guys are taking it too deeply. No. no, people, look, people have legitimate grievances with old people who are out of touch, right? So like when you watch, you know, young people who care about their future and such, and they're worried about climate change and all that and all of a sudden they look at the presidential candidates and and they they don't even know what the internet is and you go okay boomer you know what it's your time is done it's time for you to be deprecated can you just go away and let us deal with our problems boomer okay you're done you can't so you're, if i learn about the internet is that going to help climate change i don't mean 
No, okay, so Anthony, I don't mean learn about the internet like know every little Pokemon meme. I mean like, you know, Joe Biden goes on stage and he literally does not know what the World Wide Web is. He does not know what a website okay, is. Okay, does that mean that he doesn't understand the impact That's what of I climate mean. change? That's... I'm, I'm not making the connection. No, it me no. I think that that octogenarian racist pedophile does not understand. If he doesn't even know what the fuck the internet is, I don't think he's going to be able to solve the future's problems that our generation and the next generation is going to solve. And I think a lot of young people are just mad yeah. at that. And so they just, this is their way of showing it, is calling you guys boomers. I think you got it right, but you could have stopped. A lot of the young people are just mad. Well, well they, there's they're more. Mad. They don't know why they're mad. They're just mad. There's more stupidity layers to it, though, because then you have actual old people on the Internet who actually get offended by it. And then they start going like, you kids are saying it. And how dare you? And, and fuck. And then it just it's makes ages, it the problem yeah. even worse. Yeah. Like ages. Yeah. And then Did it just makes that? it worse. Yeah. Did you see that video of the, the teacher was in the middle of a lecture or, or a question or whatever? And the kid in the back of the class said, OK, boomer. And the, the teacher went off on him. See, I've never been called anything so so bad in my life and and it, it, it uh. but aren't these the same people that are calling other the calling the kids zoomers or or calling generation x i mean the, they're, they're the same people that look down on young people right yeah I yeah guess. of course so that's the problem is <laughs> look okay boomer is just the perfect insult because when you okay so what are you gonna reply when somebody tells you okay boomer what are you gonna say okay millennial that's an indictment of you. you you can't insult your own child because that's still your fault the next generation if they suck while you raised us if you're insulting us that's still your fault right i feel like that, i'm that, listening that, to a twitter that's argument that's such a good insult <laughs> yeah that, that, that's stupid though because <laughs> one i i didn't raise you i raised my kid <laughs> <laughs> if, if, you're, Kyle likes to think otherwise. Yeah, Kyle wants to <laughs> pretend that you're his dad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what all of this is about. Maybe I mock you because I want you to be my dad. Well, that I can would promise be so cute. You, I would. I can mm. promise you, Kyle, that if 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 I was your dad, I would uh, make sure that you could stand still with a finger in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> He's got on his baseball <laughs> cap, whistle in his mouth, stopwatch in hand. All right, game time. <laughs> The little the little cap with the propeller on it and a lollipop in my mouth. Like, Dad, what are you doing? Focus, damn it. Focus on your math homework. <laughs> yeah, Pay no attention to this. And, and don't tell anybody about yeah, our little Don't secret. mention to this. <laughs> Especially your mom. <laughs> oh, that would be so fucked up. What, being uh, fingered by Doug? Well, yeah, yeah. probably. <laughs> Probably. I wouldn't put it past him, Doug. You're, you're the kind of dickhead who like, literally stops. You, No. Hang on, hang on. Everyone stop laughing. All right, all right. Doug literally once stopped his son from getting a blowjob. You're a dickhead. Uh, what the hell? What, what, what Why? happened? Why were you even in a position to stop that? <laughs> yeah, what? Was your son was taking away? <laughs> so, uh, I am not a dickhead, first off. <laughs> so... Uh, I, I don't want to repeat the whole story. I think I talked about it on the bonus episode, but uh, I walked in on my son getting a blowjob and I, I thought it best to end that situation as soon as possible. So I kindly asked the young lady to leave. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant like you, you called her a whore. Come she was 14. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, I, I, Doug. I, I, it's not even a joke. I, I may have let my emotions get the best of me, but yes, I did. I did insinuate what, that she what, was what, promiscuous. <laughs> what were the emotions then? You were <laughs> jealous of Doug's like son? a fucking what, celebrity at his so trial. Much? Just trying to fucking. Why is there so much emotion? There? Okay, just all right. We'll, we'll, we'll go around and we'll start with you, Jackson. If if you were fourteen years old hey. getting a blowjob, and your dad walks in, is he going to say carry on, or is he going to is he going to break up? If spring? he was a good dad. No, no, no. Your dad. What would he have done? Uh, hmm. Probably a thumbs up. Bullshit. Then, up. then, then he's not a good dad. <laughs> yeah, a good oh, dad needs to. He's a respectful guy. What are you talking about? You're telling me that. Uh, yeah. All right, Andrew. So, so if your dad walked in on you at at 14 years old getting a blowjob, he would just say, "Hey, aces, high five. Oh, at the, at the, he would have, when it happened, said, "Oh, sorry," and left. And then later, after she went home, he yeah. would have been like, "That was pretty cool, huh?" 
or like some <laughs> some stupid goofy shit. My my dad a hundred percent would have like ribbed me and given me shit for it for the rest of my life, but he would not have stopped it. I don't think any of our dads here would have flipped out and started screaming about whores or whatever you were doing. Kaya didn't even have this problem. His dad left way before 14. Yeah. (laughs) I don't even have a dad, and he's cool with it. (laughs) In spirit, he always sends Kaya messages. First time I got a blowjob, he just heard something ring in his ear, and he was happy. He smiled. (laughs) (laughs) I, I think you should tell the story. Yeah, tell the story. Yeah, so so I was uh, uh, my wife was gone. My son was there, and he asked if his girlfriend could come over, and I said yeah. And I was going to go downstairs and and play some video games. And I told they asked if they could go up to his up to the upstairs living room. Um, so I was going up and checking like every about every five minutes, just peeking my head around the corner, make sure nothing fishy was going on. Uh, you were looking for yeah, a you were literally <laughs> looking <laughs> for this. <laughs> Just peeking my head, and I didn't want to miss anything. <laughs> so it, it was after like five or six times I I walked up there, and I walk into the living room, and it's empty. I go down the hall, and the door's closed. Uh, it's not it's not closed all the way. Just so you could push the door open, fling it open without turning the knob. And I did that, and she was on her knees, and his dick was in her mouth, and. I lost it. That and sounds I, like a blowjob to me. Why didn't you yeah. knock? So, so I, 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 I guess I didn't know if you were familiar with what a blowjob was, but I, I thought I'd explain it. Um, so <laughs> why, why, why would I knock? The, the, the whole thought is I'm trusting you to not do anything because you are 14 years old. You weren't trusting them, though. You were yeah, thinking not at all. the corner every three minutes. Fair point. <laughs> I guess I don't have anything. <laughs> 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 no it's called like, like you trust it but you wanted to verify Tr- yeah tr- and then you caught him in the act trust but verify just trust. means i don't trust I just, you yeah so yeah. yeah um yeah okay so so but I, I just don't think you should have grabbed her by the hair and called her a whore I, what i didn't grab her by the hair and called her a whore i grabbed her by the hair and slammed her head against my son's pelvis 15 or 16 times <laughs> so she could oh, finish yeah. the job <laughs> that's finish. not how you do it this is how you do it <laughs> <laughs> do it right damn it that's my son you're sucking off you're gonna do it right my son deserves so much better than this tired unenthusiastic work here move over let me show you how it's done you're supposed to work the balls jesus christ <laughs> put a finger in his butt i trade him <laughs> look he don't move at all nothing <laughs> he, he just looks he looks like a scared deer so why'd you call her a whore and not your son a whore because uh, he was <laughs> women are whores because what are you talking about? <laughs> That's a so what what was the reprimand for your son then? What did you do after this? Oh fuck, let me think. No blowjobs for a week. <laughs> yeah, <that's the> <laughs> She's like, you like getting your dick sucked? You're gonna you're gonna get your dick sucked twenty times. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna make you smoke all of these cigarettes, bitch. Now get on your knees. <laughs> You think blowjobs are fun? Suck this. <laughs> Put the fear of God in there. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't remember. I'm sure. I'm sure it was just like everything else that a shitty dad does. I grounded him mm. for how long? Mm. I, I don't. I don't remember. Probably a week or two. Did, I don't know. I'm sure. It, did I'm he just, resent you, or did he like grow to respect your decision and say that it made him a better man or some shit? No, we we've never <laughs> talked about that situation uh specifically but yeah i mean there, it's not like that was the only issue that that i had with him growing up so you know it was just compounded um how often did you interrupt him getting laid no so like the there was a time where um so this is a couple years later so his his sister who is Ooh. years younger than him used to go into his room and and use his dvd player to watch cartoons or whatever and I was in there. God, this makes me sound so shitty. <laughs> so I was in there and I, I opened up his DVD player and there was a, a porno in there. And I got extremely Ooh. pissed off about it because he knew that his sister used that room to watch uh, porn movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and le- le- leaving that in there, 
really, really pissed me off. I, I considered it very inconsiderate. So I did That's the only one. the only thing yeah. I I did the only thing I thought I could do, which was to take it and scratch the shit out of it so it wouldn't play, and then I wrote on marker on the back of it, "What if your sister watched this?" And then just put it back <laughs> put it back in the player and never said a word to him. Just waited for him to come to me. <laughs> you said like you a thick. school girl. <laughs> What's wrong with the communication? Why can't you just talk like to him? Jealous. Put on lipstick and kissed it, thinking of you. <laughs> <laughs> now we've both finished to this. So I guess I'm not good enough. <laughs> I know what you did. What kind of porn was it? I, I don't. I don't remember. Did you watch it? No. Oh, oh that's a lie. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a lie. You have to no, check. I had my own. There, there would be no reason for me to watch his. That's creepy. Nah. No, 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 no. You wouldn't know it was porn unless you did watch it. But you don't want to tell us. Oh, I, yeah, the, everything that I've ever said on mic, and this is what I'm holding off on. <laughs> Actually, that is a good question, though. How did you know it was porn? Was there just like... Ex- the, DV, the DVD would have had a cover. Like, no, yeah, no, it, was, um, it, yeah. it was a store-bought, like skin on top. A store-bought DVD with a, a label on it. Uh, okay, How old okay. was he at the time? No. Oh. Oh, probably 15, 16. So where did he get a store-bought porn DVD? Well, he's oh, fuck, old, I don't know. He's old enough to drive and shit. I don't think... Oh, okay. See, yeah, now you're you, the boomer. No, no, like, no, you, what, 15-year-olds cannot buy illegal they items? They can't buy stuff. Yeah, you would have just so, paid a homeless you, man to buy it or something. I guess, yeah. Well, I, I'm, my only point is, don't you have to be, like, 18 to buy stuff from no, some so, stores? So if, 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 I'm sure it's the same for everybody, every generation. For me, it was going into my dad's dresser and taking his VHS tape to go jerk off to. Uh, and I'm sure ah, for, for my son, I'm sure he got it from a friend who got it from a dad or something yeah. like that. Gotcha. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Gotcha. Now, uh, did he happen Holy to get any, VHS any tapes. wonderful shirts from that friend? Perhaps some, uh, it, is underwear there a place or, where he could have got them from or socks? Yeah, there actually is. He could have gotten some of the highest quality clothing items from Mac Weldon. Mack Weldon has a mission to make all of your basics Mm -hmm. smartly designed and make shopping for them easy and convenient. Mack Weldon was founded because they wanted to make more out of the basics of clothing, shirts, underwear, socks, all the things that you put on but don't really ever think about. They started from scratch engineering their own fabric and made sure the design process was meticulous so you can count on the fit being the same each and every time. Mac, they're super comfy. I'm, I actually kind of got so comfortable with us recording webcams now that I'm not wearing pants, but I'm not yet brave <laughs> enough to stand up and show you guys. My- <laughs> uh, I'm not brave enough. I feel like someone's gonna out there just make fun of me and my, you know, my bulge or something. It's like, oh, you. But Mac Weldon really, yeah, well, fits. It's very comfy, extremely comfy, and I. You know how you have to have different underwear for working out and then just going on a date or just sitting comfortably? Mm -hmm. It all has to be different with Mack Weldon. I kind of... I don't wear the same exact pair, obviously, not the identical one (laughs) that it worked out in, but you can wear the same style. So they're very comfortable. Yeah. They hold everything in place. Nothing is loosey-goosey and nothing is too tight. Let me... uh... Let me tell you boys something. I'm I'm kind of a stickler with t-shirts being a taller guy. A lot of them are either way too big for my size or they're too tight and small and all that shit, whatever. I wear maybe three brands of t-shirts because they fit me well. Mack Weldon is one of them. I've I've bought about three or four of their shirts and God damn it. They are comfy and fit very well. I highly recommend them. That's a glowing review there from Andrew. Yeah. One in three. T-shirt connoisseur. (laughs) Uh, anyway, if you want to get 20% off of your first order, you can visit MacWeldon.com and enter the promo code OFFICIAL. That's promo code OFFICIAL for 20% off of your first Mac Weldon order. I, uh, highly recommend pretty much all their stuff. Their workout shorts are also very high quality and nice. Uh, so check out Mac Weldon to get your basics, your simple well-designed clothing and to get 20% off with code official. Very nice. Perfect. So I wanted to kind of, sw- no, my turn. I wanted to kind of, <laughs> yeah, okay. I wanted to switch gears here. Anthony, you're also a father, right? I am. Have you ever cock blocked your children? My son is 11 and my daughter's 13. So nope. 
Answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> they got all the action. <laughs> nope. Oh, <laughs> well, it's coming. <laughs> Wait, why wouldn't you cock block them? That's the appropriate age. That's better than, than Doug cock blocking his 14 year old son. Be in a situation where they would need anyone to block for them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. You just keep them locked in their room just to be safe. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there, there's people like there's people like, like my ten year old daughter never gave a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you can ask Jackson. Uh, I was just curious because I knew Anthony also had children. I was got, but yeah, I wanted to know if your your son and that girl remained together after that, Doug, or did you completely scare her off? No, she she came around uh, a couple times after that, but yeah, they didn't last. Did you ever apologize for calling her a whore? No, I wasn't in the wrong. <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening out there, you're still a whore, I guess. He's going to send her this. Yeah. I said this before, but it's just so in my head. I understand where you're coming from as a parent, but at the same time, like these are two teens or yeah. tweens, whatever the hell you call them. And, you know, they're just discovering sexuality and being attracted to the opposite sex and they're dating and whatever and they're just I, I, experimenting I and techniques. trying new things. There was nothing new. She was just discovering. In, <laughs> lumbering in comes this boulder like from Indiana Jones and calls her a whore on her first experience <laughs> scar scarring her for a lot. So they, like, like I said before, the shitty thing about the, the whole thing is when I was that age, I was doing the exact same thing. I knew exactly. Yeah, you're a hypocrite. You're, you're no asshole. shit. That's what I said. That's what I said you before. Mean, I I know that I was a hypocrite, and it, and it was, I, whether or not it's insecurities or bad parenting or a combination of everything, when I walked in that room, I wasn't mad that she was giving him a blowjob. I was mad that they went against me specifically saying no blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it was an ego thing. <laughs> tell the truth and you were mad because she was fat you can do better than that come on <laughs> i said one rule in this household you weren't the one getting the blowjob i don't know man i love these stories i i understand it's difficult to be a dad especially when you i guess also had a shitty dad. i don't know doc like if your dad walked in on you getting a blowjob i feel like you'd kill him you'd be so mad if he stopped that thing from happening i would be so pissed off like fuck i'm gonna smother you mother <laughs> you don't know what you've just done so yeah, you said it'd be do working you, under, that do you understand the months, gravity probably. of the situation Wait, like, the, the, the 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 thing that i guess in the back of my head was because i was such a fuck up that i did not want my son going down that same road and in my mind like Okay, you are going against the house rules. The house rules specifically state you will wash, you will rinse off your dishes before you put them in the dishwasher, and you will not get a blowjob in this house. And and you violated both of those in the same day. What are you Amish? <laughs> okay, no, so so okay. How keeping... often were blowjobs an issue <laughs> that it had to be made a standing rule? One of the Ten yeah, Commandments of Doug's household. What? So <laughs> when did you have to pass this bill? <laughs> uh, to to give you an idea of what it was I was dealing with, like I said, so he was constantly getting in trouble for skipping school. Um, so one one night, me and his mom were sitting at the kitchen table drinking beer, like all good parents do. Um, and so he comes in <laughs> and, he, and he's wearing a, a hoodie, and inside the hoodie's got like fifteen Reese's peanut butter cups. And, you know, if you want to talk about what a boomer is, this a boomer is me in this situation. Okay, so he's sitting there. He'd, he'd come home like five minutes after what curfew was, and he was just acting different. And the entire time he was talking to us, he's shoving these Reese's peanut butter cups in his mouth. As fast as he can open them, he's eating them. And in my <laughs> mind, I'm like, he's high. He, he's on the marijuana, and... Uh, <laughs> He, he's got the munchies because that's what they say is is if you smoke if you smoke pot now you've got the munchies and that's exactly what yes, he's doing know. so no I'm, I'm telling you what my mindset was um so I, I do what any good dad would do are you high no are you lying no let's go take a piss test i want to see if you're high right now are you fucking kidding you me it. It. <laughs> where did you have a piss test at like 11 a.m so p.m let, let, let me let me finish so i take him into the the bathroom 
and <laughs> he pees I in my mouth and, oh, and I taste the marijuana. And, and, <laughs> <laughs> I go into the bathroom. <laughs> I grab a pregnancy test out of the closet and I say, "Piss on this." Uh, and okay. uh, he, he starts going, "You know, no, I, I can't do it. I've got a shy bladder." Back and forth, go through all that, and then he finally caves and says, "Fine, I did try smoking pot." And then you called him a whore and ran off crying or some shit. No, I... I... <laughs> <laughs> I like, I... I gotcha. Did I consider you it a... You tried something, didn't you? Did I consider it a That's win? That's against the yeah, rules. Yeah, did, you, did you think that you won that... that inter, you won that exchange with your son? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Nothing feels better than when a hunch is correct. <laughs> Yeah, I may have destroyed my trust with my son, but at least I was right. Amen, yeah, you, brother. You get it. You feel so feel so vindicated for ruining a night where he, he was having fun. That's all you say to do with your, your son. <laughs> You're going out of your way to catch him red-handed, peeking in doors to see if he's getting blowjobs, <laughs> peeing on pregnancy tests. How old is he now, Doug? 24. Okay. Did you ever pay any... Uh, grade school girls to try to suck his cock just to try to <laughs> bust him for it? What? <laughs> I did set up a sting like Chris Hansen. Hire a decoy. Why don't, why don't you have a seat? A predator. <laughs> <laughs> the girl comes over like, of course you can invite your girlfriend and then immediately Doug comes into the living room like, what do you think you're doing? I have all the chat logs between you and my son. What did you mean when you said, I want to drain your balls? <laughs> did you mean his balls? <laughs> Such an asshole. I guess, on this, so, I guess on the same token, though, Anthony, have you had to deal with anything, not obviously in the same caliber, but anything where you had to like put your foot down and be the long dick of the law to your family, to your children? Nope. Um, my, my dog, well, he, <laughs> you just a push you your child? <laughs> <laughs> your children just run, run free, do whatever they want. It is, it is literally a no win situation with you guys. What you, you tried to reprimand your kids. You're a piece of shit. Oh, you don't have any problems. What are you a fucking bitch? There is a sweet spot here. Yeah, <laughs> is there? yeah there is. Do, do you have kids? Well, no, well, that's that's fair. Okay. No. There's no no no. There, there's a fair. sweet spot. I want you to tell me about the sweet spot where well, you don't have. Well, no, not calling oh, their okay. partner whores while still laying down the law once in once in a while. Like the like sweet with spot Doug is not having kids. <laughs> well, yeah, that too. <laughs> but with Doug, he could have uh, like an acceptable way of dealing with your son getting his dick sucked was maybe letting him finish and then talking to him afterwards yeah. instead of calling he, yeah the, that, uh, the also that, yeah, that that was a risky move though like your son could have been like mid bust and you pull her head off and he just comes on you and then you've got yourself like the worst situation <laughs> yeah but the best story <laughs> Yeah, well, to who? The police? <laughs> who are you going to tell that story to? That's not, that's not something you tell at lunch at work, like, you know, so my son came on me. <laughs> okay. You've you never been to where I work, I guess. I <laughs> oh, no, there, there, it wasn't gay or anything. There was an underage girl involved. <laughs> <laughs> well, how are you going to tell that story? <laughs> uh, so my kid, my kid, I am a pushover, and I'll admit it. My kids know I'm a pushover. They're, I mean... If they'll ask me something and I'll, I'll, I'll say yes. And then they'll, they'll kind of look at me and then they'll, they'll ask my wife, dad said yes, but I want to make sure, <laughs> I want to make sure that it's okay. Oh, that's cute though. I'm yeah, a pushover. Is, yeah, I, I mean, cute. they're kids. You got to let them be kids. They're only going to be kids once, you know? Okay, Anthony. So if you walk in and you see your sister giving your son a blowjob, what do you do? <laughs> Why, what? <laughs> That's what I thought. You'd say, get off him, you whore. That's a tough one. <laughs> Wait, your sister? Anthony's sister? Yeah, that was the joke. Uh, but thanks for ruining it, though. Yeah, thanks, Jackson. No, no, yeah, thanks, Jackson. <laughs> Jackson, just to make I it was... up to the audience, you have to tell them about oh, Movement God. Watches. Movement Watches are great, mm -hmm. Andrew, and I'll tell you why. They're fantastic because they're cost-effective, they're stylish, and there's so many choices available at movement.com 
slash official. Uh, you can get 15% off movement watches today by using movement.com slash official. You get free shipping, free returns. I wear movement watches. We all wear movement watches. They've also got sunglasses. They come in all different shapes and sizes. I really recommend going and checking them out because pretty much every single watch and and sunglass on the site is just absolutely stylish. And like I said, cost effective. So get 15% off today with free mm-hmm. shipping and free t- returns by going to movement.com slash official. Yeah, that's MVMT. It's MVMT. slash official. Dot com. Yeah. Spell it out. Yes. Uh, if you're not getting your holiday bonus until next week, but you <coughs> want to order your watch right now, Movement also now offers the buy now, pay later with Klarna payments. Select Klarna at checkout and you can pay over time in four easy payments with no fees whatsoever that's at mvmt.com slash official join the movement 15 percent off free shipping free returns and you don't even have to pay for it all right now now can we get back to the incest dick sucking the reason i asked was <laughs> I didn't know if it was anthony's sister i didn't know if it was anthony's sister if the joke was it was anthony's sister or the like the brother's sister is so it can real- you confirm is it relevant well it would make me laugh a little bit more if it was anthony's sister okay then it's anthony's sister now laugh jackson <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit so I wanna- Okay, let's be let's be even handed. Let's be fair here. So, Doug, we, we've talked about you being a shitty dad, and I don't want this to be entirely about you know that. So, to be fair, let's talk about you being also a shitty son. You talk, <laughs> you tease the story to me about that time you showed up at your stepdad's doorstep entirely drunk and you yelled at him out of nowhere. Oh fuck! Do you have that story handy? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good sign. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's see here. So me and my me and my wife had split up, okay. And during the time that I had split up with my wife, I had tried rebuilding a relationship with my dad. Uh, my parents were divorced when I was very young, so it was like you know every other weekend go over to his house, uh, except for the weekends where he would pick up my brother and not me. So. We, we, so that, that's important because it comes up. Okay. I just got resentful a little bit. Oh, it, it'll get worse. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, we were, me and my wife were split up for about six months. And, and in that six months, I had built a pretty good relationship with my dad going over there several times a week, either playing modern warfare with them or we were building a robot. Aww. Um, How and, old were you? Uh, so this was maybe 10 years ago. So how old were you? Uh, 30-ish, 30, say 32, I guess. Okay. Um, okay. So No, okay, 10 years ago you were 35, Doug. Yeah, I, I know, but it, it's, ir- it's irrelevant. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, Doug, I was just looking for an approximate age. I don't know why Kai threw you under the bus there. That was a bit mean. Because he looks for every opportunity. <laughs> He's supposed to be an ally in this. <laughs> All right. So, any, so, so anyway, uh, me and my wife end up getting back together and my relationship tapers off with my dad. I don't have as much free time now to go over there. So I, I go for about a month without seeing him in the meantime. So, so this night I decided that I was going to get really, really drunk. <laughs> I, uh, I bought a bottle of vodka and drank as much of it as I possibly could. And I, I just started, these negative thoughts started going through my head about why I'm such a piece of shit. How did I end up this way? And it ended up focusing. I I started writing this list down of all the things that my dad ever did to me. (laughs) Keep in mind (laughs) that, that I was, I was fucking hammered, like just in no shape. So I get a list of say 30 (laughs) things and I tell my wife, I need you to take me over to my dad's. I've got to talk to him about this. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> this is the man that constantly like, And she didn't think that, after you? Well, she just as well, she just as sloshed. Like, why did she not t- try to talk you out of it? Yeah, yeah, we we were drunk. Uh, so keep you know, there, there, <laughs> she's like egging you there, on. There's a reason why I don't drink anymore, Kaya. <laughs> um, okay, so we, we make the trip over there. And so keep in mind, the last time my dad had seen me prior to this was I had went over there. We cooked lunch. We played video games all day. I left. And now I show up again a month later 
drunk, 11 o'clock at night, whatever. And I started off, I, I pounded on the door, he opens it up, and I'm standing there, and I say, here's the reasons why I hate you. And then oh, I just... Oh, Doug! <laughs> and then I just go down the list of the times that you used to pick up my brother and not me and leave me at the door crying. And, and it, 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 got, oh. it, it got to some pretty stupid details that are irrelevant but at the time i thought they would they mattered um you'd you'd stick your finger up his butt but not mine <laughs> so <laughs> it, the, the whole night ends with him crying me crying <laughs> and i get in the car and i'm driving home and my brother calls me and says what the fuck did you just do <laughs> so then i started to tell him all the reasons i didn't like him either <laughs> <laughs> what a night, baby. <laughs> Do you guys, this was the man that looked after you through the divorce, and then as soon as you get your life back on track, you just destroy him. Do you guys play Modern Warfare to this day, yeah. or is that bridge burned now? <laughs> yeah, that, that bridge is obliterated. <laughs> <laughs> With your brother, too, right? Yeah, that's for different reasons, though. And I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> Do you feel any kind of regret to doing that or is it, are you happy I, to have him out of your life? I, I, I regret that I had to get drunk to do it, but yeah, it's a conversation that should have been had a long time ago. Okay. Are you sure like if you had been sober, would you really have made a list of 30 reasons why, you know, he left you on the doorstep crying? You know, I, I probably could have had the conversation on the, with three reasons. I didn't need the other 27, you know, you got me a shitty Christmas present in 1984 um <laughs> so there were there was main reasons as to why kind of like the relationship fell through like you yeah. you had a couple key points there and all yeah. the rest was just mm -hmm. kind of schoolgirl drama yeah absolutely so my falling out was okay. a lot more uh embarrassing and, and public <laughs> <laughs> with my with my father oh i want to hear oh, this really? yeah. so i got him a job where i was working at a factory i had been at this factory for i don't know five years or whatever and and uh he was out of work and i got him a job at just an entry level at this factory and about six months in we started arguing at work in the middle of the aisle there's fucking people <laughs> everywhere and uh it, it just it went back and forth throughout the day we every time we would see each other we would argue yell whatever and and i remember a certain point where we were god jesus there was like <clears throat> probably 10 people 12 people around and all i remember is me yelling at him i was fucking 13 years old what the fuck do you want from me now <laughs> oh god <laughs> and i had worked with these people for years and and my dad they knew my dad just started and i'm like how i just Still, even now telling the story, it's so fucking embarrassing, man. <laughs> I never got to, I never really like <laughs> told him like off. Some... I was just like, it, I mean, I think I left work <laughs> crying. Uh, yes, yes. I think I left work you crying left? that day. And I was like, for, uh... it was so horrible. I was like, and he ended up quitting probably a week later. He's like, I, I don't think we should work together anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's probably the really? wise. Yeah. So are you are, are you still enemies? <laughs> like did that relationship heal or are you not on speaking terms? Um, so just about a month ago. Mm, uh, yeah, so we're we're we still talk. Um <clears throat> Not much, though. I try not to talk to him as much as possible because it always ends up in a fucking <laughs> argument all the time. Every time. <laughs> I, we, we went over there for Thanksgiving, mm. of course, you know. Um, <laughs> but I try to keep it very surface level. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. So what happened at 13? Like, what was Still that too. about? Uh, my dad yeah. was a dickhead. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I just... I, did he stop you from getting a blowjob? <laughs> Did he cock block you? Yeah, like I've ever gotten a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, your your mic is your mic is crackling pretty bad. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Oh, that's just him. Oh, his thank dad. God. Sabotaging his dad's hacking into his voice. <laughs> Trying to hack Probably. him. He's going to go out of here crying. <laughs> I was fucking 45 years old, damn it. 
<laughs> he sounds like a drunk robot. It's really bad. It's, it's getting worse. Wow. Wow. It's like <laughs> resentful, angry Ultron <laughs> ranting about his dad. It's like Tony Stark. <laughs> a transformer with daddy issues. <laughs> <laughs> the most adorable part of that is that Doug got the Ultron reference. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll give you credit where credit's due, Doug. You seem to not be as much of a boomer as I thought. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a backhand. <laughs> you get some references. I actually can't so think of a single time Doug hasn't got a reference, to be honest. Yeah. So here, here's where you'll probably revert back to your views. Um, you guys had a conversation a couple <laughs> weeks ago about Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think the, the dilemma was, is it a kid's game or is it a, an adult game? And All ages game, but yes. Well, I, I have a very clear answer <laughs> in my mind. It is a kid's game that some adults play. I can agree with that. Mm-hmm. So all those people, yeah, all absolutely. those pe people bitching about the new Pokemon game and how it's not up to par to me. And I said this to Kai, it's the same thing as somebody getting their, my first laptop, the little Sony thing, and then complaining that it can't do ray tracing. It, it, it's a, it's a stupid, <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it's a, it, it, to me, it's just a silly argument. I get that. I get where you're coming from, but it's, it's comparison against other games in the series it's not comparing it against like games as a whole it's it's yeah. like if you get my first laptop and you're like you know compared to the fisher price baby's laptop it's really bad you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's, it's a more it's a more direct comparison it's a weird thing to compare because if you're saying like you know if it's a child's first game they're gonna love it yeah that's right but there's still like a thousand other games before that and plus a kid's gonna like anything <clears throat> that's kind of their first game yeah yeah, but when it just I think Doug's point and I agree with this is that, you know, when you're 33 years old, you shouldn't be buying Fisher Price laptops or whatever, expecting ray tracing. It's it's just kind of weird. Well, you don't have yeah, but you but should that's expect not what a we're quality expecting. product if it's $60, right? Like yeah. a, 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 a product of similar quality to what you've been getting at yeah. least. We're, I, I don't buy the newest Pokemon game going, oh, it's going to be a big fucking amazing ray traced 3D 50 game modes thing. It's like, no, I buy it comparing it to the other Pokemon games I've played. And compared to them, it's not as good. And it, I don't think it's a nostalgia thing. I think the games just have stagnated and gotten boring. They haven't done anything. What's the most juvenile thing you enjoy, Doug? Oh, fuck. There's, there's so many. Um, what do you feel most shame for? What wouldn't you want? Now? Oh, that's a whole different question. <laughs> <laughs> let's answer them both then. Let's really get under there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not. Um, I, I guess the most. <laughs> Did Anthony return uh, from robot hell? He's muted. Uh, it, it seems. Uh, oh. Yeah. Why didn't you tell us? Okay. He should be unmuted now. Uh, is that any better? <laughs> no, <laughs> you didn't. Jesus. Nope. <laughs> Whoever's editing this, nope. please cut to the full call recording for Anthony because that shit is really funny. What the fuck? <laughs> you know the, what pisses me off is is I paid five dollars for some voice changing software and Anthony gets to do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i i guess to answer your question is probably just a generic answer is video games if if there's anything that i would consider juvenile that i do but i don't consider video games juvenile mm -hmm. so it's kind of a fucked up answer yeah you don't watch like cartoons or okay. anything like that no no i i, I don't uh so that's yeah, uh i, I that's a good analogous equivalent. Would you say that cartoons, ones that are, you know, obviously not for little babies and children, are those made specifically for kids and can't be enjoyed by adults? So are you talking like yeah. South Park? Well, South Park's made for adults, but I, I mean that those okay. kind of gray area cartoons like, uh, I don't know. Give me an example. Like, uh, 
kind of the Simpsons. That's that's more made for adults, but I think that appeals to all ages except for little babies. Stuff like that. So I I, I don't look at something as as it, just because something is a car- cartoon to me doesn't mean that it was made for kids. Mm-hmm. Um. So, but if you if you say like My Little Pony, I think that is a kids cartoon that adults watch. Some adults. Um. To me, it's no different than He-Man. It's just nobody, I was going to say nobody dresses up and fucks other He-Men, but I'm, I'm sure they do. Fuck. So l- let me, all right, let me give you, <laughs> let me give you, a, let me give you another, uh, what I think stronger example. You know, cartoons like uh, Johnny Bravo, where they're made for kids, but they have subtle jokes for the adults. What would you think about that? So I, I don't think there's anything wrong with enjoying, like sitting down and watching it and, and wasting some time with it. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But if it becomes part of your life, I think you're missing something. Oh, yeah. I think you're course. missing something yeah. in your life. Yeah. yeah. I, I think the people who obsess over the Pokemon but, games to the point where it's like if a bad one comes out, their life is ruined. And yeah. they, they want to throw themselves off a bridge and like send death threats to the game developers. Those people are losers. That's unhealthy with anything. Yeah. Though. It doesn't have to be kids games. Yeah. I guess it's a bit more pathetic if yeah, it's like it's, a game that's like, you know, like Pokemon. Charlie, is that your dogs getting their noodles squeezed? <laughs> what is that squealing? It's Kato playing with a squeaky toy. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah, no, so, cool. so I've got, I've got, um, I've got a, I don't know. Oh, go ahead, Kai. I was going to say, I, I disagree with the adult references thing. It's just, I, I feel like when the developers or the whoever makes the cartoon is putting in references that only adults would understand, they're just sort of a tiny inside joke that they throw in there as a gag. It's That doesn't now mean, oh, our cartoon, you know, if you're 50 years old, you can still enjoy it. No, it's just a little reference that you toss in as an inside joke between you and the other voice actors or something. It's not... See, I, I disagree. It's still a cartoon that only four-year-olds are meant to watch. See, I disagree. I think there's shows where the writing is explicitly made in mind where it's like, yeah, the kids will find it funny, but the adults will get the more, like, subtle or adult puns and stuff that we point out. I, I, but I do agree with Kaya. I think it still is geared towards kids, but a good example for both of them is Avatar The Last Airbender. Like, Kaya loves that show, too. It's not just for kids. That's something that anyone can enjoy. Yeah. yeah it it has aged well. I'll I'll give it that, definitely. It has aged well. I kind of, it's a good show. It's a decent show. <laughs> they kind of sank Kaya's whole, <laughs> whole process there. <laughs> It's a win-all argument, bring up Avatar, yeah. Last Airbender. It's a great show. <laughs> yeah, it is. Is Anthony, I see you're in the chat. Are you still a cyborg? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Maybe try buying a new mic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay that's fine we can I assume your local recording is still going and that it's better than the internet connection you have yes sir it sounds like those little <laughs> okay, megaphones they're getting not to use yeah. <laughs> it sounds like someone's tasing you <laughs> it sounds like those little gag microphones you'd buy as a child that change your voice to like alien settings and shit when you talk through it somewhere out there there's a Nickelodeon commercial yeah. with Anthony's exact voice in it <laughs> Anthony, have you have you tried hopping out of Discord and, and coming back in? Yeah, I tried, but I'll try it again. He also may have to close and relaunch Discord. That might help. Well, I assume that's what Doug meant. He's not that much of a boomer. Well, there's a difference between disconnecting and reconnecting I, to the call and shutting the whole program down and reopening it. That's what I mean. No, man, like, I'll give a... Uh, I think Doug deserves a lot of kudos for... You know, it's the little kind of remarks that help you notice that he's not really one of those horribly out of touch boomers. Like when he says, no, I don't think all cartoons are for children or something like that. You understand. Okay, so he's not retarded or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Thanks. (laughs) Yeah, like I said, my opinion on the change. You're welcome. You have to unmute Anthony now. <laughs> we can hear if it worked. Okay, let me. Hello, Anthony. Nope. 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 
<laughs> nope. Awesome. Hey, An- Anthony. <laughs> you sound like a... Anthony. Go ahead. Uh, shut down Discord, unplug your setup, and just plug your USB mic in. Okay, got it. Just just to, just to get through this. I, I don't have it, so that's not happening. So <laughs> It's it, we're we're already towards the end anyway. It's not a big deal. It's not. We don't need to go through like the yeah. full Microsoft support. You can just stay like a robot. Cool. Yeah, it's okay. You can be like a Daft Punk chorus. Yeah, it's it's all right. You're still understandable. All right. Um. So I think uh, Kai and I are gonna are set to record after this. We had talked about it on the bonus episode oh, yesterday. Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Ooh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, 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 so yeah. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, uh, Doug, give us so to give set us a the rundown. Stage here, yeah, set the stage. Someone. Anyway, all right. Kai so or Doug, the rundown matter. is Doug and I. Look, we like talking to each other, and now currently what we're doing is i make him watch stuff that i know is going to trigger him and make him feel miserable and he supposedly is going to find i made him watch hannah gadsby by the way nanette um so to put this out into the broader audience we talked about this yesterday on the bonus but i know that this gets much more circulation on the public episode all of you who tell me that hannah gadsby is not that bad you're wrong i can tell that you did not watch that special until the end the last 10 minutes horrible i don't know what you got today doug to make me feel miserable but i gave you pretty much only two rules two rules it's um you know i said doug i don't want to watch animal abuse and i don't want to watch child porn (laughs) those are pretty solid rules so anything else is (laughs) you know it's it's pretty bad that you feel like you have to spell that out to me (laughs) (laughs) It just well, yeah. I mean, so, yeah well, so I hope you, you said some me, rules. I feel like we have to set. So the 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 key into all this is the person that. So since I pick, Kaya has to edit the video and and try to get it to where it'll Fuck. go up on YouTube. And mm-hmm. you know, I I decided. So I looked into that big mouth thing that you guys were talking about, and I thought, like, yeah, I understand Kaya hates it. But I think I know what Kaya hates more yeah. than that. Ooh. I found a one hour Ricky Berwick compilation that we're going to watch. <laughs> oh, hey, that's no, pretty no. good. That's really that's great. pretty good. Doug. Oh. You're learning. I like it. Oh. He's doing his homework on things. Kaya oh, I'm such a like. parasite. He's very, very adept at this. God damn it. <laughs> that's it. I would have thought of that, Doug. That good really job. was thinking outside of the box like you hyped up yesterday. Totally thought yeah, for sure. It was, but it's not, it's not going to be fun for you, Doug. This like, if you watch the care. one hour compilation of people <laughs> reading the Nigerian email scam, it's not. And that wasn't fun for you, Kai. That's you. the fucking point. I have to watch it once. You have to watch it several times. And then again, uh, <laughs> like over through the editing and, and no matter what you send me, I'm going to say, you. this is shit. I want it recut. <laughs> Fuck oh yeah, you. You, Kai's just gonna get someone else to edit it without telling you. You need proof. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I can always hire like Brady to edit it. Yeah. Hire? That implies you pay him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you need to ask for I, proof, Doug. You. Yeah, you need to make him check in with his ed- his edits, like to show you his screen and stuff, with him giving a thumbs up with the date on it. <laughs> Make him live stream it. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah, just... Hey, Kai, I need verification. A video of you with a gun with a barrel in your mouth. Looking at his face. Awesome. Oh, cool. Now my parents are calling. <laughs> you want me to talk to him? This is this is great, Doug. <laughs> You're really parents. <laughs> You're really piling on here. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't have a dad. Okay, my mom was calling, Jackson. Are you happy? <laughs> <laughs> I need specifics, Kaya. <laughs> I thought he came back from the dead. Came back He's from not dead. He just you. doesn't talk to me. Whatever. It's just how much. I think maybe the relationship is you have to mock me. <laughs> What a dickhead move, Jackson. My parents are calling, but you don't have a dad. <laughs> nice, man. Real nice. Hey, your dad don't love you and left you, remember? 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally the only time he ever got in touch with me, Jackson, is when the German police sued him, like by default, <laughs> for not paying child support. Oh, well, at that yeah. point, if your mum was it's... also on the line, you could have said my parents are calling me, but right now it's not the case. <laughs> so you'll get it right, goddammit. Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, it's all right. Just my mom called me because she probably got l felt lonely since it's, she's alone with all the cats and she's sick, Jackson. And no dad. <laughs> right, she has no husband. Yes, she's a widow. Are you happy? <laughs> I think I feel like some real joy. I yeah. would love to hear that phone call. Kaya, help! I'm home sick with the cats and no dad. <laughs> Uh, well, you have no idea what I go through every <laughs> week, but let's save that for a bonus, why don't we? <laughs> All right, are we rec uh, wrapping yep. up? Yeah, we can wrap up. Uh, Doug. All right. Yeah. Anthony, yes, both of you. Plug your shit. Yeah. Yeah, uh, come over and check us out, whosrightpodcast.com or patreon.com slash whosright. Uh it's a pretty good time, I think. Yeah, I have fun with it. If I'm still talking like a robot. <laughs> no, I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Endorsed by Ultron. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. This is such a goofy bug, too. Yeah, so the, the beauty of this is, uh, you know, because, <laughs> of, of course, uh, full transparency and it's it's obvious but you know this is huge exposure for us so we met up last night and made sure we worked out all the bugs on making sure we could record our video and check the audio and did a test call and then this morning we got on and did the exact same thing make sure there's no bugs and oh. now it sounds like somebody beat up his computer with a fucking hammer you know like like in the movie where uh, uh somebody drops the their computer they're recording and right before the audio dies it gets all garbled and shit that that's what our, our takeaway is. <laughs> That's your legacy on the mainline episodes. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> like a like a fart into the microphone then from Anthony. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. But anyway. This is great. Uh, this is like the garbled like in every movie where they receive an alien transmission, like we don't know how to decrypt <laughs> this. It always sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, they're good guys. Go check them out. Who's right? Uh, yeah, go check them out. Amen. Mm -hmm. hey, yeah, I'm yeah, a fan. Thank you, guys. Of course. Thanks for coming on. Well, thanks for joining so us. Just, I mean, full, you know, full disclosure. I mean, every single time that Doug and Anthony have been on our bonus episodes, it's been one of the best received bonus episodes. You guys somehow got Reddit gold on our Reddit guest suggestions. <laughs> <laughs> Is somebody paid actual money to give you guys gold to come on our show? Um... What's yeah, a, check what's them out. A Absolutely. Patreon.com. <laughs> Fuck you. It's patreon.com slash who's right if you want to pay them, but if you want to check them out beforehand, also it's, you know, there you guys are on Spotify, you are on Lipson, the podcasting service. I think SoundCloud, I'm not sure, but it's who's right with Doug and Anthony. Yeah, I think we got roughly uh, about 100 bonus episodes on our Patreon now. Get them for a buck because we're cheap mm. whores. <laughs> <laughs> all right well take us out jackson uh yeah thanks for watching this week's episode we appreciate it we've got a patreon as well patreon.com slash the official podcast we've got a bonus up probably this week with uh doug so if you want more doug, doug yeah <laughs> there's a lot of doug yeah. on the internet at the moment if you want more doug head over to patreon.com <laughs> just, just one picture of me is a lot of doug <laughs> 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 patreon.com slash the official podcast uh yeah we appreciate all the support and yeah we'll see you next week thank you everyone thanks for listening bye bye